All right, so let's talk about the Eternal Knight and her super level style. So as you can see, I am currently level 159. I tried to do a little bit of research on this topic and there's a variety of answers out there. A lot of people are saying you get max super level at 160 and then I've seen 168 and some people even say beyond 168. So here in the locker, you can see it best. Again, I'm 159 and you can see the tips of my feet on both feet are bright white. And that's the aspect that's not been covered yet. So here you can see it better. This is with super level off. This is what she looks like. And when you turn it on, everything is that super elite chrome effect, except for the tips of her feet. Now you can see it way better on the black and the gold. You can see on the black, it turns a magma orange. And I think that would look phenomenal. Imagine if I had it halfway done. I wish I had showed it back then. It would be half dark red, half black, and half that awesome orange color. You should know orange is my favorite color. I missed out. If someone is like level 125, send me a screenshot of what this looks like in the middle of the pack. I would love to see it. And here's the gold one. You can see it's just that bright yellow, but easily distinguishable where you're at on the super level. Unlike this first one where it's just a white color. Definitely more noticeable on these two. We're going to see exactly what level you have to be to get maximum super level. All right, so as you can see, I accidentally leveled up too much. I collected all my gold coins, and it shot me all the way to level 162. So we skipped right over 160. So let's take a look in the locker and see if we progressed all the way. So it's definitely level 160. I don't know why people are saying 168. There is no white left on my feet. Same thing for the red knight, there's no orange at all. And for the gold, there is no bright yellow. Wait, uh, which one do you like get the uh, red and gold style? Red and, when do you get these, you mean? Yeah, like what level? Like you gotta do next week, week nine. Huh? And then complete 65 just, challenges. Uh, like level up? Nope, not level based, Jack A. I'm almost to 200 though. Yeah, not, the, only thing the, only thing that's, the only thing that's level based is well, what you see here on the gray one here. So, confirmed, level 160 is the maximum amount. I don't know why people said 168. There's nothing left. Absolutely nothing. Now, the real question is, how in the hey, batter, batter, do you get the enlightened version for the shield? You can see right there in the bottom right, it says enlightened. That is the key word for the super level. However, when you go in here, all you can see are the two shields that unlock at week nine and when you complete 65 challenges. It says nothing about the enlightened version, which is unfortunate because this looks kind of dumb. I mean, look at it. And it looks even more dumb on these other two. Obviously, I can't show you their respective back blings, but it would look pretty dumb, trust me. We need the same super level effect on these back blings and I, for one, don't know how to get it. Maybe it's a secret. I don't know. Maybe they just forgot to activate it. Or maybe we'll get it next week for week nine. I'm really not sure. Here's hoping because, yeah, look how dumb that looks. I mean, you could clearly tell. It's not so bad on this one, but when you get to the ones that are brightly colored, it's going to look absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. See, that looks pretty good. And then the moment you turn this on, you can just see there's a massive difference between the two. I don't know, but I just wanted to confirm or deny that level 160 was indeed the final level for the super level effect on the Eternal Knight, and it looks to be correct. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.